महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में महादेव मुद शिसा नमा महागणपत मन सा स्मरा में कर्मण्यवाधिकारस्थे मलेशु कदाचन कर्म फलहेतु मबू यू हैव ए चॉइस over action you don't have any choice over the results of action the results are controlled by the laws the laws include the law of karma also if it is there i said if it is there okay. the laws include a number of factors when you want to when you want a job you apply for it there are 10 others who have applied for it. and seven of them are devotees <laughs> All of them are pray for the job. <laughs> Bhagwan has to oblige to one person. On what basis? That's called law of karma. <laughs> But in the basis, what you have achieved before. what you had done before what is now happening and therefore at every stage there is an unfoldment of past karmas as you as you live your life it's like a moving ramp you are standing on a moving ramp a moving ramp you are you know, sometimes you can walk on the ramp when you walk on the ramp you will have more result for small effort sometimes if you walk against it <laughs> so you can understand what happens sometimes you swim against the current the moving walkway is that in chicago from one terminal to another terminal you have to go it always my experience was when i was moving i don't move now so from my 
my next connecting flight is always in the other terminal. Never I had, I had in the same terminal. Never. I have to walk this whole distance. And the, there is always a, so you have, to have a walkway, moving walkway. And there is a lady who is a machine, and it is a tape. Then in the moving walkway, comes to end, again it starts, again it ends, again it starts. It's not one long way. So it stops and then again starts and stops and stops. So this lady wants you. The moving walkway comes to end. 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 Lord Yama doesn't tell this. <laughs> You are on the moving walkway. <laughs> One day it ends, that's it. <laughs> the moving walkway. So this is, everybody is on a moving walkway. That's the alpha unfoldment of what we call Punya and Papa. Punya results in pleasant situation. Papa, the opposite. Every human being is a mixture of Punya and Papa. Pure papas will be animals. Pure punyas will be celestials. Pure punya means results in, in, the, in the form of a celestial. Devas. Punya papa mixture account for this human body. When you assume a human body, you have both punya and papa. And the four, morning is, is pleasant, evening is unpleasant. You start the morning with great feeling, wow, wonderful. Wonderful. Evening, by the time evening, you had a muscle pull. <laughs> Or muscle pull. That's, that's a muscle pull. Every day you must have something or the other. Or muscle pull. So that is unpleasant. So the pleasant and unpleasant, they, they keep unfolding. That is the moving ramp. In the moving ramp, on the moving ramp, you are also walking. You are also using your will and making effort. And therefore, so, the loss, when we say the loss produce the result, the loss can include, may include, the past also governed by the law of karma. And we are all connected, interconnected. It's not your own karma alone. So what happens to you affects your people. 
your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, spouse, children, all get affected. Friends and known people, all of them get affected. What happens to you? One person. So if you are a simple person, you, a few people are affected visibly. And if you run an airline like Kingfisher, <laughs> so many are affected, passengers are affected, the routes are affected. So many, so many, the entire society is affected. Employees are affected. All uh, And if you have a power and your thinking is wrong, then whole society, humanity is affected like Hitler. So you have it all depends upon your position your power, money power, <coughs> men power, political power. So all these decide and this how much how much is your influence and how how badly people can be affected, how favorably they can be influenced. Therefore, your, my karma, when you say there is no my karma, it is always our karma. <laughs> there is an immediate circle, there is a, a remote circle, even the stars are within our circle. Everybody is connected. This networking is, is not something that simple. It is too complex. But it doesn't go wrong. Like telephone bills. <laughs> You receive a telephone bill. Whole month you have called it seven times. And the bill is for 1,500 times. Who called? <laughs> Somebody called. It's all crossed. Purposely they did or by mistake or what? You get bills like this. But last, don't commit mistake. <laughs> That's why there are laws. The definition of law is, the natural law is, that doesn't go wrong. And therefore, The loss produced the result. There's a little bigger picture what we had. Karma produces result. 
governed by the laws, the laws produce the result. The karma pala hetu, that which is responsible for the result of karma is the law. The laws, we will call it plural, laws. Now, whose loss? Is there someone else who made this law and sitting there and watching who is transgressing the law? Is there somebody else? Who is a watchdog? And who made the laws and watching them? Who is transgressing and who is following? Etc. That's very important. If you look at these laws also, then if it includes karma phala, if it includes my motive, my, my, my belief, my shraddha, my commitment, all these are reckoned in the nature of result, in determining the nature of the result. <laughs> the laws are not dumb laws. So the laws become intelligent laws. Or there is an intelligent being who is watching the people following the laws or not. <laughs> like the traffic police. In America, this is what they do, the traffic police. So there are some counties, they have no income. Only through this they income, road income. The police people waiting there, waiting there in a corner where you don't see the car. The speed they put there 55 miles. And all through 65 miles, suddenly they will change 55 miles. <laughs> because there is a little, the bends are there, therefore 55 miles. And the fellows who have been coming, 65 means 74 people go. <laughs> 65 means 74. And, sh and that's, that is how it is done. And 60 means 69 they will go. And the word 65, really reduced to 55. And everybody will be coming 65, 70, and this fellow will be sitting there and boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Catch them and then you charge them money. In a watchdog, you introduce a law and then watch who is following the law, who is not following the law. What? And there is somebody who is watching all this. Or you must have some minions. And who make them watch. Is there someone like that? Or 
the lost themselves are the watchdogs. <laughs> the laws are not separate from the lawmaker. Here comes the Veda. The Vedic vision for which there is no, no gain, against which there is no gain saying and for which there is no comparison. The laws are not separate from the lawmaker. The laws are the lawmaker. Means what? Between the the laws, if you reduce, if you talk to your mathematician, he will say the whole world can be reduced to equations. The mathematical formula. We can reduce the whole jagat into just laws. This is a law. <laughs> that the hands come together because of some, some effort, whatever. That's also law. And I made you say, yeah, this is law. But I cannot make a crow say, ah. I can't make a crow say, ah. You open your mouth and say what? Come on, make a sound. Ah. ah. So if you make, if you open your mouth and make a sound, it is only ah. Ah. Kaka? Kaka is crow. Kaka? My dear, Kaka? <laughs> Please say ah. My turn is Shulu. So open your mouth and say ah. Kaka, I tell Kaka. Ah. <laughs> Kaka. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. It says, I, I will make an attempt. It opens the mouth and say, ah. Ka! <laughs> Ka! <laughs> yes. Say, ah. Ka! <laughs> that is the law. That is law. That a kaka can only say ka. A donkey has his own, his own symphonies. <laughs> and so this, this is, that every, every, every animal has got its own, its own, its own sounds and noises. The birds, different birds, all of them have their own wobbles. It's all law. It, everything is law. Your liver is working because of laws. Kidneys are working because of laws. Heart is beating, beating because of laws. And your brain is making its input in your life because of some laws, all because of laws. You are married because of laws. <laughs> in laws, I'm talking. <laughs> and so, so <laughs> there are yet there are laws and laws and laws and laws and laws. You can reduce everything into laws.
the plane takes off due to loss, aerodynamics, loss, And it flies because of laws. And it can land because of laws. <laughs> In fact, we study the laws and work along with the laws. If you have illness, it is because of some loss. And if, that, if there is a cure, again, because of some loss. It's all loss. In fact, the more you understand the world, the working of the world, working of your own body, here you have got mechanical engineering, you have got electrical engineering, you have got remote control. Your hand is here, so remote control. So you just give a thought, oh, come on, go up, go down. <laughs> eyes closed, eyes open. What is <laughs> We have a remote control. Just order. Every, every possible phenomenon you recognize in the world, you can recognize in this body. Somebody said, my microcosm, microcosm. Like they like that, you know, big words. <laughs> Macrocosm, what is in macrocosm is in microcosm. Some chasm. <laughs> but it's true. And therefore, If the entire Jagat, including the galaxies, is viewed as laws, And who is holding this land? We say the loss, whoever has made this loss is never away from the loss. In fact, the laws are the Lord. We can use the word Ishwara, the word. The translation will be not God, 
the Lord. God alone, but the literal translation will be the Lord, more the Lord than God. God is a separate word.